hi guys in this video we will learn how to add toaster notification in laravel live wire so let's get started with an example and let's understand so let me go here and you can see i already created one component that's called product create component and you can see over here i simply created blad file for the component and there is a one form and if you submit it let me go here live wire class there is simply add the validation and create the product okay so let me go here and I will say test one and price will be 100 and click on save. You can see that it's display product created successfully. There is, you know, success alert over here. But instead of this alert, I want to add toaster notification. Okay, so let me go here. And first of all, I will go to the CDN. So simply I will copy this JS file and CSS file. Okay, simply go and go to layout app and here I will be add js file and same thing i will copy this css file as well so same thing css cdn i will copy and paste it over here okay now what i will do simply go here and there is a github documentation and if you scroll down over here and you can see there is simple code over here given that's called toaster info simply copy this and go to the product create blad file and here i will be start script I will say and script okay and I will say script then simply paste it okay and save it and now let's see it's working or not okay simply go here and refresh you can see that it's animated over here like are you six fingered man okay if I say hit again you can see that okay so that means our toaster is working but when it should be trigger when I click on the save so how we can do that so what i will do i will simply add over here event listener okay so simply i will move here and i will say document dot add event listener and here i will be simply say toast dot success okay and here i will be simply say event and then i will simply say okay and here what i will do simply i will move this to the up okay and you can see the documentation over here there is already info so there is also success warning and error as well okay so what i will do i will use success simply copy this okay and paste it over here and i will simply say like product created okay so this is only for event listener so what I need to do when our product will be created. So let me go to the class and here when our product will be created at that time, what I will do, I will simply say this and I will say dispatch and what event name we given. So toast toast dot success. Okay. Simply copy and paste over here and save it. Okay. And now let's see. Okay. Simply save it. Okay. And let me remove the line okay now let me go here and refresh it okay and if i click test 2 i will pass 100 price and click on save you can see that product created over here okay so you can see that we implemented successfully code okay now you can see that we passed static argument like a static uh, you know message but what i want to do i want to pass the message from here okay so what i will do i will simply say message and here i will be simply say like product created okay save it okay and now let me go here and i want to show you here we can get it from the event object event detail and that is the key that's called message simply save it and let's understand okay simply refresh it and i will say test 3 and i will simply price 100 and click on save you can see that product created over here okay so that means we can easily implement like this way toaster notification okay so now if you have another pages okay for example this one we done for this component but same thing you need to do for others as well right so same thing you can see that this is the blad file i written over here but what if i already have a one component that's called product component if i want to use over here then what i need to do simply copy this and like paste it over here and you need to do repeat like reuse like repeatedly you need to do same thing so what i will do i will set it global toaster notification so that way you can reuse it okay so let me go here and remove this save it 
and what I will do simply copy this script tag go to the layout our default layout blade file and simply go here and here I will be paste it save it okay and now let me go here and remove this script from this blade file okay save it okay and now let me go and check refresh it and I will simply say test 4 price will be 100 and click on save you can see that product created over here okay so it's successfully run so you don't have to write again the script code in every your component it will automatically load from here and listen the your event okay so same thing let me go here and you can see that you need to dispatch every time event so what i will do i will create one traits and you can reuse in your all, all the component class okay so what i will do simply go here and i will say php artisan mac trade okay and i will say trade folder traits and then simply i will say has toast notifications notifications okay and hit enter and now let me go here yeah there is a problem if i go here you can see that it's just created over here so i will remove it okay delete this file and i will simply say should be this slash okay so let me go here and they created trades folder and inside that folder we created over here has toast notifications okay what i will do over here i will simply create one function and that's called toast success okay and into the bracket i will get the message okay save it and same thing i will copy this Control x and i will paste it over here okay and this message i will pass dynamically so simply copy this and same thing paste over here simply save it over here okay and now what i will do simply use this trait to the component class file okay so what i will do use app and traits and then i will simply say has torch notification simply save it and here i will say use has toast notifications okay then what i can access i can access this method so simply copy this and what i will do at the end i will say this toast and here i will be say product created simply save it okay and now let me go here and run it again my project so i will say php artisan serve okay and now let me refresh it and i will create another product test 5 price will be 100 and click on save you can see that product is created over here okay so you can see that how easily we can use it over here okay same thing i already created one route so let me go here and that's called product route so simply go here and i will simply say product hit in you can see that there is only test button so let me go here and in this route there is already i created products blade file and in this blade file i call products component so let me go here and there is a component blood file over here that's called test button and same thing there is a class only simply render method okay so what i will do simply go here and here i will be simply add wire click and then say like call click simply i will create one method over here inside the function and here inside the class I will create one function like call click so same thing i want to call success notification so what i will do simply use that trait copy this paste it over here and simply i will use it over here so i will say use save it and same thing i will copy this notification and then go to the class and here what i will do simply i will say test success notification okay save it okay and now let me go here refresh it and click on it you can see that test success notification okay so you understand how easily we can reuse it you don't have to define and rewrite code for the event listener and call event and all the things okay so you can see that that was for toast success same thing i can define more like if you have any error then what you need to do simply go here success i will say error and same thing error save it and let me go here products here i will be simply say 
error page over here and simply I will say something is wrong save it okay now you need to go to layouts blade file and copy this and same thing I will say toast error and instead of success I will say error simply save it okay and now let me go refresh click on test you can see that something is wrong so you can also call like toast error function and you can get the error notification over there okay same thing you can define more so let me go here and I will define for warning and for info as well okay so I will say warning and here I will say warning save it okay same thing I will copy this paste it and I will say info info and simply save it okay and now let me go here and to the blade file and what I will do copy this and here I will be say warning and here I will say warning and simply I will copy this again and I will define for info as well so simply say info info and save it okay and now let me go here into the product class file and I will simply say warning and I will simply say this is test warning save it okay and now let me go and refresh it click on it you can see that this is test warning same thing I can call for info so I will say info this is test info save it okay and now refresh it if I click on test so you can see that this is test info so you can understand how easily we can implement toast notification and you can define the global with the traits and then you can reuse it with, reuse, reuse it with all the components so if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys